Hello and welcome to Ganesh Studio channel. So today we are going to discuss that how we can do inner product of vector spaces and how we can convert them into orthonormal or orthogonal forms. Okay. So firstly let me tell you something about what are inner products, what are orthogonal vector spaces, orthonormal vector spaces. Let's begin. Let's say you have your base 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. Okay. Let's say your base, this is your beta 1, this is your beta 2. Let's say basis. Okay. Now you want to know about, I mean you want to find out the inner product, beta 1 into beta 2. What you need to do, simply multiply x component with x, y with y, z with z and add them up. So 4 times 1 is 4, 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 3 is 18 and this will be your inner product of vector spaces. Now, any product can be, let's say you have a set A of so many vector bases, okay, and you are saying that this is your orthonormal, ortho, orthogonal vector space. What does it mean? That means if it is in the form of x and y or x, y and z, that all those are mutually perpendicular with each other, orthogonal means 90 degree. So they are perpendicular to each other, okay? And if you want to convert them into orthonormal form, that means you need to find out the mode, the mode of B1, I mean mode of those bases and it should be 1. And how you can find out the mode? Let me tell you. What you need to do, you have to multiply, take the root of the inner product of those. Why? Because if you see, if you will take the square of this, then it will be beta 1 into beta 1. Right? And which means you are multiplying them. And if you want to find out only one number, then that will be square root. Isn't it? And you know how to find this with this form. So let's begin with a question. This is Graham Smith orthogonalization process. What you can do for this? You need to apply and vectors are given to you. Beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 and you need to form orthonormal basis for inner product vectors. Okay, so let's begin what we can do. Let me grab a duster. Um, so, first of all, as I told you, let me explain you how you can form the orthonormal uh, basis. Let's say you have any set and your your basis for that vector spaces are beta 1, beta 2 and beta n and your orthonormal bases are alpha 1, alpha 2 for every respective value. Okay, this is your orthonormal basis. So how you can find them? For alpha 1 you need to do beta 1 and divide it by its base. Okay? For alpha 2, you need to do gamma 2 and divide it by its base, its mode. Alpha 3, gamma 3, divide by its mode. Now you might be wondering what are these gamma and all, how they came up because you have... Uh, gone through beta 1 and alpha 1 and all those so on but not gamma 2. So for the value of gamma 2 how you can find it you need to take beta 2 minus inner product of beta 2 and alpha 1 with alpha 1. So beta 2 and inner product of beta 2 alpha 1 and that product with alpha 1. This is inner product and this is simple product where you will get a vector space. Similarly, when you will do gamma 3, it will be beta 3 minus, you can imagine, this is beta 3. Then after beta 3 dot, this is beta 2 alpha 1. Here, beta 3 alpha 1 with alpha 1 and then after beta 3 with alpha 2 as well. Similarly, when you will do gamma 4, it will be beta 4 minus beta 4 with alpha 1 beta 
to beta 4 with alpha 2, beta 4 with alpha 3 as well. Okay. So let's begin. This is just a formula. Uh, let me write it here so that you can. Okay. Now you can see these are your beta 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, minus 1 and 0, 3, 4. Right? Let's begin. First orthonormal base. It would be beta 1 by beta 1 mod. We have beta 1, but how we can find out beta 1 mod? By taking square root of beta 1 in a product of beta 1 and beta 2. Right? So, this is 1, 0, 1 dot 1, 0, 1. So, that would be you know how to do inner product? 1 times 1, 1. 0 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. So, it would be root 2. Okay? So, your alpha 1 is beta 1, which is 1, 0, 1, by mod, which is root 2. So, that means your first orthogonal base is 1 by root 2, 0 by root 2, 1 by root 2. Got it? Moving on to second orthogonal base. Now you need to find out gamma 2. And how you can find the gamma 2 value? By this. So this is beta 2. Beta 2 is 1, 0, minus 1, minus inner product of beta 2 with alpha 1, which is 1 by root 2, 0, 1 by root 2. And with it, you need to multiply your alpha 1 again, right? So, let me do it here. So, for alpha 1, the value is here. 1 by root 2, 0, 1 by root 2, right? So, you can see here, 1, 0, minus 1, what it would be? 1 by root 2, plus 0, minus 1 by root 2, Right? That means 0. 0 multiply this will be 0. So your gamma 2 is this only. And for this you need to find out mod of gamma 2 as well. So for that gamma 2 multiply gamma 2 which is the gamma 2 is 1 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1. So would be 1 times 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, so root 2, again, right? So, it means your alpha 2 is gamma 2, which is this, by this. So, 1 by root 2, 0, minus 1 by root 2, okay? Thereafter, what you need to do, third orthogonal space. So, for third, let me raise this. So for third you need gamma 3 and gamma 3 well you, you can compare you need beta 3 well, with that you need beta 3 with alpha 1 right and then beta 3 with alpha 2 correct why where is our alpha 2 oh god so your gamma 3 your beta 3 is 0 3 4 Minus, let me find out it in here. So, beta 3 dot alpha 1. Firstly this. So, what is beta 3? 0, 3, 4. And your alpha 1? Your alpha 1 you have already found out here. 1 by root 2, 0. 1 by root 2. So, this would be because it is inner product. Inner vector product. So, 0 plus 0 plus 4 by root 2. So, 4 by root 2 means 2 root 2, right? Do you know how to change 4 by root 2 as 2 into... You need to just do rationalization. So, 4 root 2 by 2 and this will be 2 root 2. I know you know it. Just to recapitulate. So, 2 root 2. Thereafter, you need to multiply it with alpha 1, so which is, 
so beta this value is 2 root 2 but your alpha 1 is 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2 so that is multiply this root 2 is cancel with this 0 2 so this is your second orthogonal base okay and similarly I mean this is only this value right now you need to find this as well so here you need to put 2 0 2 minus this value also beta 3 with alpha 2 beta 3 with alpha 2 so this is your beta 3 what was the value of your alpha 2 because I raised it so you need to do it so if you will find out by yourself or you can check the previous one once you will find out the value of alpha 2 put it here then do inner vector space 0 multiply first one plus 3 multiply first one let's say I'm giving you an example let's say its value is x1 y1 z1 okay so 0 x1 0 3 y1 4 z1 okay thereafter this is your value 3 y1 plus 4 z1 okay and you have already taken this x1 y1 z1 so you need to simply multiply it first part with first here second part with first here uh, this is your whole one thing first part with first first part with second first part with third once you will get this value put down it here and subtract first 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 one 0 minus 2 minus 2 minus something you will get your third orthogonal base orthonormal base. I hope you understand. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.